Hey guys, Rook Knight here. Thanks for joining me. Today we're going to take a deeper dive into slider locks, the lotto lock slider locks. And if this isn't your cup of tea, I don't blame you if you want to pass. We'll catch you next time. Uh, for those of you that are interested in how these will tick, we're going to try doing a little pick in a gut and take a deeper look into what exactly makes these work. So anyway, um, let me see if I can first get this open really quick here. Some of them click really nice, and some of them are very silent, which is weird. It's always better to start on one side and then work your way to the next one. Um, sometimes you got to go back and check. You might have, one might have dropped, or you may have missed one or something. It's just good to go and keep repeating the process on one side each until it opens. There we go. We got an open. Okay. So anyway, um, here's the inside of the core. It's hidden by this uh, outer shell. Um, one of the problems with this when I was trying to gut it was I didn't realize that it could even be gutted. I seen that there was a screw and it was a flathead. You can see there. I have a little... I'm sorry, Phillips head, what am I saying? Anyway, so also when you look at it here, it looks like it was uh, sealed off. It doesn't look like there's actually, it comes off here. It looks like a friction weld. So I didn't think it could even come apart even if you could unscrew it. To my surprise though, after unscrewing it, I was uh, banging it on the table a little bit on the side here. So I kind of did a little couple wax like this and then it came out just a hair, a little less than that. Um, so I couldn't still get it out. So what I was doing, what I did was I got a little piece of metal and made a little mini crowbar and went inside there and then was able to, uh, with a little force, give it a yank. You want to be careful because there is a tiny bolt that sticks in the side here that receives the screw and that will fall out. So you want to make sure you're doing it over a table. Um, that's where the core is. The core would be slid inside there. And then as for... The inside here, you have a little plastic backing. That is what turns to put the ball bearing into place, and they are ball bearings. The look of the shackle, pretty much, you know, standard shackle. Um, here's a better look on the inside. Like I said, the little, that little hat there. It's not gonna wanna cooperate, but that goes right into place there and then turns, of course, easy peasy enough. Now, as for gutting this, this is a little bit of a pain, and I've never done this, so this is going to be a first for all of us here. There is a tiny gold little thing there, and what you need to do is take it, and why it's, why it's picked, you need to take it and push it up out of the way, which is easier said than done. This is the part that I don't... It's not easy to do, that's for sure. Um, let me see what else I have here. I'm sorry, I thought that would have worked. Let's try this here. So you want to try sliding it so it will, and you don't want to, you got to be careful because you don't want to lock it back up. So you want to do that. Yeah, sorry about that. You want to do that. It's almost like a button. You got to push it up out of the way and then hopefully it'll slide off. Yep, fell back down. Oh, almost. Okay. So, once that happens, you're able to pull these out. Now, inside here, 
These are where you got your little things here. Now, the first one, that one I think has to do with maybe uh, holding your key in place. I'm not really sure what that one's for. But the rest of these, there's two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that makes sense because there's five sliders on each side. But each one of these comes in a set of two, and you got to be careful not to mix them up now. But as you can see, that's what it looks like, okay? I'm not going to maybe peel out every one of these because that'd be kind of ridiculous. But now the reason why I'm using a Z-bar is because I want to push these up in the air a little bit more than what they are, okay? So a lot of these are um, actually, let me get, okay, so a lot of these little points here that are sticking out on the inside are at the bottom. They're really low on a lot of these squares or rectangles, okay, inside. So what you want to do with the Z-bar is when you put the Z-bar all the way in, you're pushing these up. So then you're li you're raising those little balls to be picked up. So instead of it being, say, on the bottom, it would be a little bit higher up to get underneath them all. It just makes it simpler to pick it, okay? So um, basically, they all pretty much resemble that. I'm not going to go and pick open every single one here, but I will maybe grab another one to show you. And then there's very fine springs in each one here. There's one small spring right there for the first little pin thing, which I think might be key retaining or something. I'm not really sure what that part that plays because there's no um, slider on it. But as you can see, there are tiny little springs on either side, just like a wafer um, lock. If you were to take a wafer lock apart. But as for here now, this is another one. This is what it, your look. So when you're inside there and you're picking, what you're doing is you're sliding this in and you're trying to push up on each one of those to be able to set it into place. And then once it locks, you can get your rotation. It's pretty similar to a, like I said, to a, um, a wafer lock. Very, very similar to a wafer lock. Um, but the best thing to do when picking it is with the, these anyway. I, I don't know too much about other slider locks. As for these lotto locks, it definitely pays to pick it with a, um, a Z-bar because you want to lift all these up in the air. And if I can get this back in here, I can maybe show you what I'm talking about a little bit more. Oh, well, that's great. Okay, so all your bars are there, and they're being, this is actually upside down, so you'd actually have it facing this way when you're picking it. So the tension, the springs want to push it forward, so if you can look right there on the top, you can see how, see those top pieces right there? See how right there, if I push on them, they go up in the air? naturally their position is to sit like that so what the z-bar is doing is it's pushing those up all the way down the chamber it's pushing them up so if i turn it upside down here and i show you by the z-bar see how the z-bar is making them all move right so they're getting us just a little bit up in the air so what that's doing if you can see inside there You know what? Let me switch angles here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Maybe that'll help me. Okay, so if you're looking there, there, there's a good shot. So natural position, they all want to sit like this. And when you have the Z-bar in, it raises it. See all those pins on the bottom or on the sides rather get lifted? And then that makes it easier for you to get a tool in there. Come on, focus, Jesus. And then to be able to get a tool in there to be able to push up on them. So you can see right here going in, you're pushing up on each one of those as you go down the line. But without having the Z-bar in there, sometimes you end up getting your tool where it bumps up against it. See how you can't, you're, you're kind of, you know, and then you're having to lean on the ones on this side when you're trying to get an angle underneath it, and it's hard. So by that Z-bar going up, you got a clear shot to get underneath them all. I'm not doing too well right now because I can't see, but like I said, you got a clearer shot to go through. Also, another good one I like using too for this is just a straight 
um, thing. Just a straight bar. Uh, my battery's going to die. With a little bit of a tip on it. That's about it. Hopefully you can see that. This is a terrible video. All right, guys, that's all I got. I hope that explains it a little better. I hope it's more understanding for if you guys get uh, one of these and want to pick one. Hopefully that gives you an idea. But that's all I got, and uh, I'll catch you next time. Thanks, guys.